Why does empathy lead us in that direction to want to help a single person at the expense of maybe the collective? Why why is that? Empathy is an interesting emotion. It's 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 in some way um there are some emotions that are kind of diffuse, like mm. compassion. And I love I could love everybody in the room. I feel I wish you all well. And that's compassion. Right. right. Um fear, um I, I don't know, uh anger, you mean angry at a community. But but empathy is is in some ways like lust or like um, gratitude. It zooms you in on an individual. So, David, I could feel what you're feeling or try to feel what you're feeling. I could really zoom in and try to imagine what it's like to be you. Maybe at the same time, I could do that with Mike. I don't actually think I could do both at the time, but maybe I can. Maybe I have that kind of thing. But I'm looking down on the list and on, on the room, and there's there's a Jesse and a Catherine and a Derek and an Ella and I can't do that with all of you. Nobody can. Empathy is, because it involves feeling what another person feels, it is essentially narrow in its focus. Sometimes narrowness is good. I, you know, I, I want to be careful here. Like, I'm with the best friend in, my wor- in the world. There's some ways in which focusing on that person directly can be a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I have to make decisions that affect a community of people, the narrowness is, is the enemy of morality. Interesting. Okay. Um, so you help one person at the expense of so many others. Yes. And then sometimes um, also you don't help them at all, but you help them in a the short right. time, as you said. Right. So.